Amen. I mean, I know we hear that a lot, but it's a true statement. Amen. It's a true statement. So whoever came with that, came up with that, kudos to them. Amen. 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 As we go forth on today, and I was sitting and thinking, I was reading on some stuff, and and as we go through this this world, as we call society, and just going through so many different things. Amen. Amen. And just you know. On this railroad track, as they say, my cousin used to say, take off the roller skates, amen, yeah. and slow down sometimes, amen, and, uh, but God has to teach us this, amen, God has to teach us this, and so dealing with a whole lot, amen, and God teaching us invaluable and practical spiritual lessons, amen, not just lessons, but spiritual lessons, which affects our character development, amen, our choices, and also our lifestyle. Amen. Yes, amen. Amen. God created it in us to serve him. Amen. amen. Him only. Amen. Amen. Yes. amen. And the most difficult thing in walking through this life and going from day to day amen. and everything is waiting on God. That's a hard thing to do. In today's society, I said we live in a microwave society. We want everything done quick, fast, and in a hurry. Amen. And it's very intensified. Amen. Amen. So we don't want to wait. Amen. On the Lord. Sometimes we don't think the Lord is fast enough. That's when we're in the flesh. Amen. Yes. But God, he's teaching us lessons daily, daily, daily. Amen. Yes. And um, I think a lot of us, that, like I was saying, that's a tough thing to go through. Learning how to wait. Especially in critical decisions. Having to make some quick decisions sometimes. Sometimes we need a quick answer. Yes. Amen. As we think we do. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But we have to pray. We've been praying on some things over and over on certain matters. Amen. Amen. One certain matter. Amen. Sometimes you, um, for the young folk, you're in school. And a lot of times you got folk, as this, this big thing going on now is bullying. Amen. Yes, it is. Which is a bad thing. And it's not like it was back in the old day where they come up in your face. And they probably still do that. Oh, you this and you that. But now it's on the internet. You're texting. That. That's very hurt. Words do hurt. They say six and stone yes, break my bones. Words do hurt. Yes, they do. Yes, they they do. really yes. do. Yes. And sometimes you're going through these things. You wonder, Lord, when is going in? Amen. And sometimes it's pushing you in another direction. Like, you know what? I can't take this anymore. Mm -hmm. I want to end my life. Or I want to go and take some drugs or whatever. But you're yet waiting on God. Amen. Will he answer that's the question you're asking. Lord, now you say you're real. You say you're there for me. Yo, we're constantly telling you that. He's real. But God, at times, he allows us to go through some things. Amen? Some difficult and painful things. Seem like no sight, nowhere is at end. No end is in sight. Amen? Amen. But God, is. it don't seem like he's there, but he's there. Amen? As you say, we want that quick fix. Amen. Amen. Some immediate direction. Amen. Psalms 27 and 14. Amen. 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 Just some little quick scriptures. And in this waiting, as we said, the Lord won't give us a quick fix sometimes, but in the process of waiting, it says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Yeah. Wait, I say, I on the Lord. Yes. It didn't say he's going to remove the situation. It says, wait on the Lord, he shall strengthen our, this is a part of that development, our character. Yeah. Waiting on, on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Remain present in that state, in that environment, amen, for further instruction. Yes. Amen? Yes. For further instructions. Yes. Instructions, amen? Amen. This verse, it encourages us. 
to wait on the Lord. He got our back. He's going to strengthen us in this time. Now, this is teaching us trusting in God for his timing. Amen. Not our. You know how sometimes, now, I, I'm, I'm, I got to admit, road rage. Y'all know how we are out on the street. Uh, Want to get there real quick. Yeah. Well, if you leave out on time. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm talking to me now. I ain't talking to nobody else. I'm talking to myself now because I know me. I know me. If you leave out on time and do what you're supposed to do, you could probably get there right on time. You can just glide on through. But it's, like I was saying, the Lord holds us up for a reason sometimes. Because as you go further down, there's an accident. And I was at myself, I talk to myself, y'all. I constantly talk to myself. Don't worry, I don't answer myself. I talk to myself. I like that. Oh, girl, if you left, I don't tell you, you can't get mad at that person that's driving the speed limit because you're speeding. Uh-oh, uh -oh. you preaching, you preaching. God has to talk to us like that. Yes. 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 It's just that simple. I can't get mad at them because they're doing the right lane, going the right when I'm trying to get around, you know. Like you crazy, like how to drive? Uh huh. They drive all right, you know. All right, preacher. Tell the truth, baby. Tell the truth, shame the devil. <laughs> He's shamed right now. Amen. <laughs> but God, we have to wait on God time. Amen. And what we mean by that? The stillness, an inter stillness. Yes. From day to day, throughout the day, sometimes minute by minute, hour by hour. Yes. Amen? Because yes. you know sometimes you're like, oh my God, like today, we're here in church and I, ooh, da, 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 da. And by the time we get home, it's like, oh, 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 oh. Or you can still be on that high or whatever, that still, that peace. Yes. And you're at work or whatever and you pray that morning and Lord, I'm waiting on you. I'm standing on you. I'm waiting on your timing. Yes, 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 yes. But that next second, Depression can step in, or somebody can come back by and say something, and it could throw you off. And you're like, wait a minute, yes. hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, I'm supposed to be waiting on God. Now, the good thing about this situation is you need to recognize it right away. Amen. Yes. Yes, yes. If you can do that, Lord, forgive me. Yes, I'm yet waiting on you. Yes. What that is teaching us again, patience and God's timing and leaning on Him. Totally. Total surrender. Amen. Can we give the flesh up? Can we give up some things? Uh, now, <clears throat> now, we have baggage. Amen? Yes. We don't want to give up those certain baggage. Yes. Those certain habits and stuff. You said, why is the Lord making us wait? Especially when we're going through stressful times painful situation. Amen. Why won't he just bring us out? Well, you if he did, you probably wouldn't be here today. Mm, that's true. That's it's just that simple. If we constantly got things we wanted right away, would we even pray? Get down on our knees, acknowledge the Lord, glorify the God? Would we? Amen. You're preaching. I think not. Amen. That's true. I think not. Because even in the midst of good times, we still yet have to wait and lean and depend on the Lord. Amen? Yes. So, even with this, and sometimes when the good time is good, you forget sometimes because it's so good. You be like, I'm going on one. Got a problem. Ooh, and somebody is going through, they looking at you like, you ain't even got a word for them because your thing is so good. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, come on, That's come true. On. Sometimes we forget. You know, that person that has a habit where back in the day you had one. Could you not sympathize with them or what they're going through? Could you not tell them your testimony? But things are good for you right now. But you forgot. You toot up your nose. I had to be aware of that and conscious of that. I'm not so great that I can't help somebody and I think they're beneath me. No. Who am I? I created from dirt just like they were. Right? So who am I to look down at my nose at anybody? If it had not been for the Lord on my side. If it had not been for my mama introducing the Lord into my life. 
where would I be? That is a gift for 